The Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory presents Video Journal, featuring laboratory people and their programs. We'll go behind the scenes to see how a Walt Disney crew filmed portions of an upcoming science fiction thriller here at the laboratory. Watching a Hollywood movie being made is a funny mixture of excitement and boredom. At first, the visitors to the set were fascinated by their chance to look behind the scenes. The world of movies is a world of illusions, and anything not part of the illusion really doesn't matter. Turn, take one. Speed. We're turning. Parker. Parker. Action. Now. There is, of course, a certain celebrity mystique around a movie set. In this case, there was one actor on the scene that most people knew by name. That was Jeff Bridges, whose credits include the remake of King Kong, The Last Picture Show, and the critically roughed up Heaven's Gate, now working the local theaters. We found Bridges a friendly and approachable guy, but he had very little to say about the computer and the future that technology will bring. Those are the ideas that happen to be the subject of this film. The man who obviously had spent some time thinking about the role of technology in the modern world was the film's 30-year-old director, Steven Lisberger. Well, I'm really in favor of all the R&D work, and I'm in favor of getting kids on computers, and I think uh, science is the only thing that's going to help us. I think the fact that this facility is here is, uh, is great. I think the research that's being done in fusion is, is great. I hope that uh, this sort of work continues. The people at Lawrence Livermore have been super in that they let us in here with our film crew, they let us do all of this, and it, we're, obviously our film, it, we're not doing a Nova show, this is a fantasy, and we're, we're making fun of some of the things that happen here. We're digitizing, uh, we're moving things through uh, time and space in ways that they can't really, that can't really be done, and we're taking liberties with computers too, but we're just trying to express some of the excitement we feel about technology in the future, and if the film does that, that'll be great, get everybody enthused. There are a lot of uh, you know, people who are afraid of technology and computers of the future. You aren't? Uh, no, I'm not really scared of computers at all or the technology. I think that um, that science is um, is going to help us a lot more than it's going to hurt us in the long run. I think that uh, if we're not careful and we look at science in a short-term approach, then we could get screwed up, which is the same thing we did in Detroit, where you know we got into a particular kind of mechanization that was obsolete and we made too many of these big cars and we got all fouled up and it's the same thing with these long-term projects that you, that you've got here is that as long as somebody's got a lot of perspective on the situation I think everything's going to be great as, as long as commit major commitments aren't made to short-term ideas um, I think things will work out. I, I think what's so great about this facility is that a lot of people have committed to th projects that won't come to fruition for decades. And that's really rare in a society that deals with people that have to be satiated with everything every second of the day and have shorter and shorter you know, goals than um, short-sighted goals all the time. So I, I really respect that. 